March Madness now in full swing for both men's and women's college basketball. The state of college athletics is in the spotlight. And for almost two years now, athletes have been able to profit off of their name, image, and likenesses, called NIL for short. The new practice is not regulated nationally, and today a congressional committee took up the issue for the first time in two years. So where do we stand with NIL, and where can it go from here? Kana Whitworth has this report. March Madness has the eyes of the sports world looking at the best collegiate athletes in America as they head into the Final Four. The Owls of Florida Atlantic! Iowa is headed to the Final Four! And while they wow the crowd on the court, Miller trying to take Indiana's heart. There are questions about how to properly compensate them off the court. Without a clear and consistent set of rules in place, the entire ecosystem is disrupted, and important elements of the educational experience are decimated. And with the tournament in full swing, Congress is giving a long look this week at the issue of name, image, and likeness, which some say has changed the game. Schools like University of Miami, whose men's team is in the Final Four and whose women's team reached the Elite Eight, have openly embraced this new way of compensating players. History continues! I think what we're seeing at the University of Miami is really the maybe a test case of how other schools might want to do this, the good and the bad of getting into that NIL game in a big way and having it be your calling card. For years, college athletes could not profit off their likeness while competing for schools, even as college sports programs became lucrative. The issue sparked lawsuits and other congressional hearings with athletes themselves fighting for their rights. We are forced to jump through hoops and told no while our universities and the NCAA uses our name, image, and likeness all to their own benefit. My window of opportunity to capitalize off my name, image, and likeness during the peak time of my athletic career was completely stripped away. In 2019, California started a domino effect, becoming the first state to pass legislation allowing students to profit, with others soon to follow. Once you had this kind of patchwork around the country of some states saying, yes, athletes can be paid in our state, and other states saying, no, they cannot get paid, well, that was untenable. The issue eventually reaching the Supreme Court, which in 2021 ruled that the NCAA could not restrict student athletes from obtaining educational benefits. The process through which the court went in making their ruling and making their decision highlighted the fact that the NCAA really could not put out a policy on name, image and likeness in any way limiting it because ultimately they would face litigation from student athletes. Here's your Dr. Pepper mom. Star athletes like Alabama quarterback Bryce Young and UConn guard Paige Bukers could appear in commercials while still in school. And when the little known St. Peter's Peacocks went on an unexpected tournament run last year. This miracle run continues for St. Peter's. Guard Doug Eddert was able to cash in with Buffalo Wild Wings. In order to receive compensation, the student athlete has to provide a service. That service could be signing autographs, making appearances, running a camp or a clinic, or even doing social media influencing. The work that the student athletes can do can really be anything. The new guidelines opening doors and especially making a huge difference for women's sports. Olivia Dunn comes to mind from gymnastics at LSU, the Cavender twins at the University of Miami. They've got millions and millions of followers on Instagram and TikTok. Our Deb Roberts spoke last year with LSU's Flaw J. Johnson about how NIL has changed her life. What's the odds that I'm going to get stuck right in this NIL thing and, you know, be able to capitalize? Like, I can take care of my family for generations, just what I do in these four years right here. But with no national law, the NCAA has left it to schools and states to come up with their own policies. There are certain states that have NIL laws in place, and they are all different. Some states have already rescinded and repealed the laws that they just put into place in 2021 because they felt that they were too restrictive versus their competitor schools in different states nearby. There are also concerns about how much money is involved and the impact on recruiting, with some deals for star athletes reaching six, even seven figures. Although true NIL provides tremendous opportunities for student athletes, the existing environment consists of recruiting inducements, tampering, and ultimately pay for play. And if a gap will form between larger and smaller schools. There's other schools that don't have the resources, don't have the boosters, don't have the, uh, the fervor of those boosters. To, to do that. And we're gonna have haves and have nots, maybe in a way we've never had before. 
The hearing marks another first step towards reaching a uniform NIL law that could bring more consistent guidance, the first attempt under new President Baker. One of the things that Charlie Baker, it's been discussed that he brings to the table is this idea of bipartisan efforts to try to effectuate change. And that most certainly is something that's going to be needed. But the issues can go deep and the creation of a national law is far from simple. The Republicans seem to want more regulation and the athletes to not have it just be able to run free on every possible aspect of their lives. And the Democrats are talking about unionization for athletes. There's also the issue of Title IX. Can you pay men but not women? If you start to talk about international student athletes engaging in name, image and likeness, now you have to deal with our immigration laws. Until those issues are resolved, some teams may continue to cash in and hope the new NIL era will help them win it all. It's the biggest win in Hurricane Hoops history. It's a game changer to be sure. Thanks to Kana for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.